Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this reading here is for my Aries Zodiac sign. This is the love and relationship reading for September. Before I dive into it, let me just say this is a general reading, so this may not resonate with you. If it does, everything may not be for you in this reading. It could be messages for someone else. So take what does and leave the rest. Also, energies are fluid and interchangeable, so energies can cross, and if you need to, please flip the energies that best resonate with you, okay? Uh, before we jump into it, get that chain, okay, get that energy right. All right, let's start off with the romance deck. Let's get a couple of cards here from the romance deck. All right, let's do another shuffle here. A couple of cards from the romance deck. And then we're going to pull here. All right, so before I pull, the first one that popped out is soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Separation, time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Attraction, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So let's get, um, let's clarify soulmate here for you. Let's clarify soulmate. Clarify soulmate for Aries for September 2020. Clarify soulmate. Clarify soulmate for Aries September 2020. All right, so let's see what we have. Five of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. Strength. And the Empress. All right, so what I'm seeing is soulmate. This person, you're leaving this person out in the cold. The soulmate energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, whoever this is, you're leaving them out in the cold. I, I showed that you guys were like working together. You know, working on something, working towards something, uh, but you left them out, you left them behind, and now you're working towards yourself here. Three of Pentacles, you're focused on yourself. You could be focused on your financial, uh, financials, <laughs> your finances or your self-being, because we have the strength and the empress, and to me, this is showing that you're working on your strength and confidence, you're working on um, whatever it is you're pulling forward, this Three of Pentacles energy that you're putting in. You're nurturing it. You're growing it. You're making things happen for yourself with the Empress here. Okay. Um, the Empress can also represent a pregnancy or like a nurturing motherly type of person. So this could be you working with um, for, with your kids. Okay. A better relationship with your kids. Things like that. But I am seeing that you're leaving this person out here. Whoever the soulmate energy is. Again, Pinnacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Picking up Leo energy here as well. Um, yeah, I don't know why. But they're your soulmate, but you definitely left them out. Let's clarify separation here. Maybe this will tell us why. Clarify separation for Aries, September 2020. All right, separation. Page of Wands. The Magician. Knight of Wands. An eight of Wands. Okay, so this Page of Wands is telling me that this is a new beginning here for you. It's like, it's good news for you. Like, you're you're excited about it here. The separation. You're excited about the separation. Wow. Um, yeah, you're, you're excited about it. It's like you're putting all of your energy now into yourself with this Magician card. You're ready to move forward with yourself here, okay? It's like... Now that the separation is here, it's now like, okay, now I can work on myself. Now I can work on my goals. Now I can do whatever I want to do. Because I'm seeing Knight of Wands, and Knight of Wands represents like movement or moving or a new address or something like that. Whatever it is, it's happening pretty quickly with the Eight of Wands. And again, that's movement again. So you could be going out on your own, right? You could be, maybe you guys were together and now you're separated. And now you're like, okay, now it's time. For me to find my own place to live, I get to live out on my own, be by myself, be a single person and, and enjoy it, right? Um, but it looks like you're working on everything with the magician here. So not only are you working on like a new address, you're working on yourself, your self-love, your, um, your money, your coins, your stability, things like that. You're working on everything is what I'm sensing, okay? And Knight of Wands is like... Um, 
a lot of times they say it's the player type energy, but this is that energy of being free, just kind of living in the moment. You know, if you enjoy doing something, you get to do it. And then when you're tired of doing it, you don't have to worry about it no more. Like you're over it. Okay. So you're really just enjoying being in the moment. But again, I feel like this is movement too. So you're enjoying this. Like you're ready. You're ready. You're excited about this next move in your life. Like this is the next stage in your life here. So whatever happened, you know, you guys separated. You're just ready. To me, it feels like you're just ready to be single and just kind of focus on yourself instead of focus on focusing on an entire relationship with someone. Right. Uh, so let's clarify the attraction here. Let's clarify the attraction. Clarify the attraction here. Let's see. Four of Pentacles. Three of Swords. Seven of Pentacles. And Nine of Cups. Yeah, like the Four of Pentacles, this is telling me, again, this is that movement. I feel like the Four of Pentacles, you're holding, it's like you're holding a lot of things to your chest, but you're also holding on to things financially, like you're watching your spending, you're being cautious of your spending, and things like that, um, but you're also holding in a, a lot of emotions here, maybe about this separation here, like you're holding back, um, because the, the sword energy is here, Three of Swords, okay, this is that Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, so you're like... Like, you're not able to fully enjoy it right now because you're still kind of hurt just a little bit. But, I feel like the hurt is coming from, like, a financial standpoint. Because now you're out on your own and it's like, okay, well, you know, I've got to watch my spending limit. You know, when, when I get my money together, then I'll be able to really enjoy myself a lot better. And the reason I say that is because we have Seven of Pentacles and Nine of Cups. So, this tells me that once your money starts growing and your money starts getting on track, you're going to be fulfilled. Like, you're, you're not wanting this love here. You're not wanting this person here. You're going to be feeling fulfilled. Um, Nine of Cups energy here. You're going to be feeling fulfilled once your money gets together or gets right. So that that could explain why you're, you're kind of leaving this other person now. Maybe this person is financially draining you, okay? Maybe they're financially draining you and you tried to work with them and it's just like, oh my God, like, let me go see if I can do better by myself. You know what I'm saying? Like, that like that Tyler Perry movie, I can do bad all by myself. Like, I feel like that's the energy that you're giving me right now, Aries. And hey, ain't nothing wrong with that. Like, you you got to see, like, if somebody is steadily pulling you down financially, you can only do so much until now they're putting you in the hole. And now this is messing up not only them financially, but it's messing you up financially. And you can't get done what you want to get done. So I feel like that's why you're leaving. You're leaving them behind. You're like, hey, look, you go your way. I go mine. We figured this out, and then financially, once I get my stuff together, you know, I want to see if this makes me happy, because I feel like you may be dragging me down. You can't really, you can't, um, you can't level up when you have someone holding you down. You know what I'm saying? Like, if somebody's tugging on you, you can't move to the next level, because it's strenuous. It's like you're trying to bring both of y'all up there, but only, it's only space for one. You know what I'm saying? So, hey. Mad respect to you, Aries. <laughs> Let's see. What is the um, what's the advice that you would like to give Aries for this um, reading here? What's the advice? Let's do one more shuffle and then I pull. What's the advice that you would like to give Aries for this reading? All right. Let's go ahead and pull and see what we have. Ooh, challenging times. Yeah, uh, it's going to be hard because this is definitely a new transition for you. And this is your, it says it's your soulmate energy. Your soulmate here. So this may, this this connection here with them is going to be tough. Like it's going to be hard to break that. But again, you are realizing that in order for you to move forward, you have to let them go. And they say if it means, if it's meant to be, they'll come back. If you let them go and it's meant to be, they'll come back. So that's, I feel like that's your mindset right now. But right now what you're thinking is, I've got to get my stuff together before I can be with someone. You know what I'm saying? So it may just be like, you guys may not be separated permanently. You're just like, hey, let's separate for a while, get ourselves together, and then once we get everything together, then we can come back and try this relationship thing, which is so respectable. Like, I have to respect you for that because that takes a strong-minded person because you can't, you can't fully love somebody until you love yourself and then until you're happy with 
where you are, what you're doing, and who you are in your life. You know what I'm saying? You can't love somebody correctly until you have done that for yourself. So that's what you're doing. See? Yeah, love. You love them. You love them. But again, you love yourself more. And that's what it is. It's like, hey, I love you. You know, you know that. I care about you. I love you. But we have to separate in order to figure ourselves out first. And to me, that's what you're doing. That is what you're doing. We have believe and succeed. So, yeah. Right now, it looks terribly. I, it, it, look, it probably looks terrible to you because you're like, man, my finances, I'm having a, you might have to be penny pinching and, you know, living paycheck to paycheck, whatever it is, you know, whatever's going on. But it's going to pay off. If you keep believing in it, it's going to pay off and you're going to get that nine of cups happiness that you're wanting uh, financially here. So just believe and you will succeed, okay? Let's, um, let's get a couple of cards here from the Manifest Soulmate deck. Let's get a couple cards here since we do have this soulmate energy here. What is the energy that you would like to give? What advice you would like to give here for Aries? Alright, let's pull a couple of cards here. So we have, ooh, never give up on something you really want. I have found the one that my soul loves. And again, I'm not denying that this isn't your soulmate because they are coming up as soulmate energy here. But again, when you love someone so much, you can be, it's like you know you have to let them go in order for them to get their self right and for you to get yourself right. And if it's meant to be, they'll come back. So, follow your heart's desires and manifest the heck out of your life. Whatever this money situation is that you're doing, if it's your business, man, Roll that thing. You know what I'm saying? Put all your energy into it. Peace comes from within. Do not seek it without. And release your worries and receive universal abundance. Wow. Yeah, definitely. Let's do, um, I want to do, I want to get a couple of answers here. I have this new deck here, Angel Answers. So let's see if we can get a couple of answers. Can we have the overall advice for the soulmate here? What is the advice that you would give for this soulmate energy in this first part of the reading for Aries? What is the advice you would give? Alright, so that advice is opportunity. Wow. Yes, this is definitely a new opportunity for you. Um, this is something that's that you feel that you need to do. Okay, this is an opportunity for you guys to branch off for you to figure out who you guys are. You could have been with each other for quite some time and things are just kind of going downhill. So you just needed to take a new a new approach and just kind of separate and find this new opportunity here. Uh, let's see. What is the, the separation? Let's see. What advice do you have for the separation? Within the next few months. Okay, if this hasn't happened now, it's going to happen within the next few months. And I feel like the the separation isn't going to last long. Just a couple of months for you or within the next few months, okay? Attraction. It's up to you. Yeah. This financial situation is completely up to you. It's up to you depending on, depending on how much work and effort you're going to put into everything. So that is what I have for you, Aries. I hope that this resonates. If you're new to my channel, feel free to subscribe. And I will catch you in the next video, guys. Bye.